Plus, after a long school year, they're finally getting the chance to show off some of their skills. Putting North Dakota first. KX News at 10 starts now. Good evening, I'm Jamal Phillips. And I'm Brooke Williams. Thank you for watching KX News. The trial is underway in the case of Regina Goodell and her co-defendant, Matthew Anderson, both accused of playing a role in, in the death of Wade Goodell, Regina's husband, back in February of 2022 and might not. KX News' Kiara Brown reports from the courthouse as we lead local tonight. Day one of the Regina Goodell and Matthew Anderson murder trial was full of testimony as 12 jurors heard from 15 witnesses, all called by the state. Some of those witnesses include police officers called to the murder scene the night of Wade Goodell's death, some of Regina's closest friends, and the woman in the car with Wade when he was shot. Regina, Wade's wife at the time, is accused of accomplice to murder and Matthew Anderson, Regina's boyfriend at the time, is accused of pulling the trigger on the gun that killed Wade. I just remember her saying that she didn't, she didn't mean for him to be killed. That's all. What did she mean for him to be? Beat up. That's what Krista Peters, Regina's childhood best friend, said Regina told her in the days after Wade's murder. Other witnesses also stated Regina planned to have Wade beat up. That they were just having issues and that her boyfriend at the time was, she was going to have him beat him up. I never really heard her say anything, hey, only thing I heard come out of her mouth, she said she was going to have him beat up. Messages and video calls between Matthew Anderson and his wife, Alessandria, while Anderson was in jail, state... It was an accidental deadly shooting. Says, to be home right now, baby, it was an accident. Everyone was alive when I left. I would never, ever take the life of another father, baby. This is all, this all was an accident. Carletta Nelson, a close friend of Wade's, was in the car when he was shot. She told the court her account of the night. She said Wade picked her up around 1 a.m. after he left the drop zone bar so she could do laundry at his house. But while on their way, Wade said they were stopping at a friend's house first. That's when an SUV pulled in behind them. The guy was yelling at him to get out of the car. And obviously he couldn't do it. Um, so he punched in the driver's side window. We shot him. The same person that had been hitting him? Yes. Nelson described two people at the assault. A man she describes as tall, tough-looking, with tattoos and a reddish goatee. And someone calling Wade names from behind the car she described as a bigger female. Day two out of a possible 10-day trial continues Wednesday, with the state expected to call 16 more witnesses to the stand. Kiara Brown, KX News.